Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the next episode of The Sopranos. This is season three, episode 12, titled Armour Fu. I'm guessing that's Italian of some sort. This is the penultimate episode. When I was sitting down to record this, I didn't actually realize that this were, these were the final two episodes. I guess I should have realized. I looked at the my, my, my list here, my schedule list, and it says 12 and 13. Hmm, 13. I didn't really think about it at first, but I was like, yeah, I don't think Sopranos has more than 13 episodes. So yeah, it just kind of clicked with me. It's like, oh, this is it. We're finishing up season three right here, right now. So if you're watching this episode on YouTube right now, the, the conclusion of season three is already done over on Patreon. Plus, we're probably well into season four right now. Possibly even done. I'm not sure. This is what? Uh, episode 12. YouTube has what? Episode four. The one where Melfi was um, assaulted. So... There's that. So we're, we're like eight episodes, mo two months, maybe three months ahead. So if you guys want to jump ahead, Patreon's the place to do it. Last episode was the Pine Barrens episode, which was like, I felt like it was peak Sopranos. It was really, really good. There's a lot of loose ends happening right now. And I feel like it's all going to kind of steamroll into some sort of mm, right here, right now. Because I, if, if I remember correctly, I feel like the penultimate episode is usually... The one where all the plot kind of like funnels to a conclusion and then the next the last episode um kind of sets up the next season, right? I don't know. But I feel like that's what's happened. I've already seen two seasons, you think I'd know by now, but you know, it takes me a while to get through this. If I had no means, do I want to rush through the show at all? You know, you can only see a show for the first time only one time, you know, only once. So I definitely wanna savor the story here but yeah let's just hop in have a good time discuss it afterwards but before i do i do want to remind you guys patreon for the full length uncut unedited reactions as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel as well as exclusive reactions so if any of that interests you hop on over to patreon of course if you can't support me there quit support me right here on youtube all you gotta do is like comment share subscribe with the channel now let's stop talking hop in have a good time discuss it afterwards all right guys here we go our more food i probably said that all wrong oh and happy holidays by the way it's we're literally hmm, five days or some some change away from Christmas. I don't know if you guys celebrate, but happy holidays from me to you. Thank you for everything. All the subscribers, the patrons, the comments, the likes, the subscribes, all of it. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Let's get into the episode. All right, this episode's an hour long, so I'm strapping in. Let's do it. What are we doing? Imagine having your portrait in a museum like this. She's just the wife of some rich merchant, Mom. You sure talk the talk, Miss Art History. Well, if you spent more time in your books and less in Jackie's car. Oh. That is so over. Oh, yeah. She caught him cheating or something. He had his little gumar on the side. It's probably a misunderstanding, but still it doesn't look good, you know. Obviously, Carmela sees herself in this artwork. That's why she was trying to, you know, pass a lesson on to Meadow. Are you crying? What's the matter? I don't know. Just look at it. Hmm. I wish I could make something that people would cry to. I mean, actually cry to, not like, oh my god, that's so bad, I'm crying. Little baby's hand against her cheek. Art is great. So at peace. Come on, let's go. Aww. Yeah, I need, I need more screen time for Carmela. I like what we're doing with her character. Tony. And big baby himself. Come on. Oh I'm God. Sorry about what happened, you won't return my phone calls. You don't go fuck yourself. I'm something too special. I just. Throw away. Well, one argument. One argument? Yeah, she's crazy. If you were a guy, I'd have to tell you where you'd be right now. But you were Yeah. Right. Wearing cinder block shoes. <laughs> in the middle of the ocean. I was trying to act all in control and not dwell on it. It's no excuse, but... It is what it is, yeah. Can I see you later? I'm late for my appointment. Oh, we're at Melfi's place. <laughs> Me and this broad were like... Leather and lace, burning ring of fire, whatever the fuck. A morfu. A morfu. As the French right. call it. 
Explain. Crazy love, all consuming. Uh oh, crazy love. Tell That's what it's called. That's what it means. Uh oh, so she's about to do something crazy in this episode. That um, that other lady, forgot her name already. Helen. That's not all there is. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Sarah. I don't know. Birgit. <laughs> she gets freaky. <laughs> what if I do get an extra five? I'm not charging no. you at all this month because last month you overpaid. Well, you gave me a lot of tips that session. I won't have it. Don't offer it again. All right. All right. Mm. Let's get back okay. to Gloria. Strong moral values. And you like this? And you together? guys She's gave me your thoughts on minded. why she didn't tell Tony about the assault also. So it makes sense. YouTube comments, I mean. Irina was such a helpless fucking baby. Irina. Wait, Irina is the, the, oh, the Russian. Gloria. I was way Buddhism off. And the movies. And Gloria. She went to Morocco all by herself. Hmm. Huh. Those eyes. Those eyes okay. are deep. Okay. Complicated. I said deep. You said complicated. You said dark. I spit it out. <laughs> what do you think she sees in you? Oh, please, huh? I mean, it works both ways, buddy. Well, you know, like I said, Captain Industry type. Nah. You're a tough guy. Come on. It's okay. Well, you're you a tough guy? It. Come on, you embarrass me with that shit now. Does Gloria know what you do for a living? You mentioned fire. There are certain kinds of people that are drawn to fire. Like Looking moths to a flame. an inevitable result, like a moth to a flame. Mm -hmm. Gloria. Ah, crazy love. Why would anybody... Is she the moth? Of all people with a side of beef. She's complicated. Mm. Dark, you said. Oh, I said her eyes are dark. I love listening to these sessions. This is supposed to be like some of the best stuff of the show. She's great. Oh, boy. I knew a Moroccan guy once. Hey. He ran me. She was like this, and then it cuts, and she's like this now. Yeah, or what? What's this about? Jesus Christ. Her this arms are changing. In the buck. Hello? No, you have the wrong number. Uh-oh. What? A girl. I thought it might be my sister. What a family shit you were telling me about. Yeah. Where are we? I thought we were in a hotel. How'd okay, they find you? I don't want to talk about it. Really? She said I can never see my niece and nephew again. Maybe it's for the best. Right before Christmas. And we had a new hey, it's right before Christmas, Christmas right now. Party, the neighborhood wasn't very good. I love those two children so much. Oh. She said I was turning them against their father, which I wasn't. She's going to kill them or something. Something crazy. She said I always had it in for John. And she forbid me to ever see them again. You smoked crack this fuck. Without those two kids. Oh, he's going to do something? Hmm. I think they're going to fire me over a globe. Fucking Arnie Mill sexually harasses me and then dares me to sue. Mm -hmm. Anyway, fuck them. Okay. Guys, if you're gonna smoke, take it outside. I think I'm wrong. You know. Nah, here we go. Fuck's the matter? You don't speak English? Who the fuck are you? The owner's a dear friend of ours. That should be enough for you. Fuck him too. Damn. It's all right. It's under control. Go find a fucking Taco Bell before I cap your asses. The fuck out of here. Damn. Oh, uh, they're about to retaliate somehow. Here, take take this. Take fuck no, bro. He's a mad guy. Don't, he's gonna flip when he sees this shit. Put that shit behind the counter. Hey, Chris. Fuck happened? Hey, it's your buddy here. Ah, he you bitch. Came in, you know, disrespecting the place. So I had to straighten him out. You had to straighten him out. How many? Three. Goddamn fucking craziness. You all right, Roy? It's only glass. Let's see. Ah, <sighs> uh, man, this season's really fucking good. I, I don't even know how it's going to end. I have some ideas, but, you know. We're kind of with Ralphie now. Mm. Besides, would Tony go fucking ballistic if I was in on it? Unless they're paying your nut, nobody has the right to tell anybody else how to earn a fucking living. Finally. I don't know. Thank you. Ralphie, huh? Well, if you ever think about jumping ship, you know my number. I need okay. Need work on the pre on C5. Mrs. Soprano? Yes. The oh, what? What are the odds? You know, maybe I'll just call a cab. Oh, you know, that's okay, Jerry. I'll give her a lift. I'm going out anyway. Gloria Trillo. Oh, Carmela Soprano. Are you sure you don't mind? 
Give me a minute. Let me just grab a demo. Okay. What? Where are we? What? What is what? Imagine if she just, you know. So what do you do? I'm a homemaker. Oh. You must make a very nice home to drive a Benz. <laughs> so you married? Yes. Kids? Two. You? No. It's above. What was Carmela doing here? And why? What? What? This is way too much of a coincidence. Did I miss something? She's not too far away though. She's in New York City. She's at Columbia, actually. School of Broadcasting? No, no, the university. It's one of the top schools. <laughs> I know. I was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Why are they um. Today? They got the. I'm worst. nervous Why, now. You know what? Yeah. Tell me about it. At least your daughter doesn't have to latch on to a man for success. No. Thank God. Um. That's a beautiful ring. Thank you. What's your husband do? Well, he's involved in a few businesses. Sounds mysterious. Not really. My daughter calls us bourgeois. I, I, I'm going to have to go back and, and see how this led up. Oh, is she going to walk her to the door? Okay, okay. I thought... Oh, thank you so much. Really. Ah, oh, it's no problem. It was very nice to meet you. You too. Oh, I thought she was going to be like a thief and, and swipe the ring or something. Mmm, I'm scared. This lady's she's gonna burn the house down. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking. What about Moldasanti? Nothing. We were just saying, you know, he's young to be made. That kind of shit. He wanted it. So he stepped up and took it. I agree. It's like your old man Tony Soprano. What about my father? Swissness. We had our own little crew. Me, your dad, or honey, mom. Tony, Silvio Dante. We do Mickey Mouse scores, you know, moving pot, mm -hmm. swag, bullshit stuff. We thought we were like the six. I like my cocoa with two packets. Well, who the fuck knew we was even alive, right? <laughs> Till one fucking night. And I gotta give your father credit for this. He had balls as big as an Irish broad's ass. <laughs> it was this old, old mustache named Feech Lamana. Now, what the hell Feech meant, who the fuck knows, but. He was made on the other side, so you know he was uh, an original. Nah, uh, this is a parallel for Jackie Jr. Whatever. Who's thinking about maybe making a switch? This, but we'll see. This Saturday night card game. The father sees this as our big chance to step up to the A League. Connected or not, him, me, and Tony. We're gonna rob it. We thought your father lost the marble, but he said, "Fuck it." Falls. What happened? They took it down. They walked away with like. Twenty large. What do you mean they? You didn't go? <laughs> Please. I'm still sick over it. <laughs> Aww. My dick was dripping like a busted pipe. Oh. Uh, anyways, the rest that of sounds history. awful. Dripping. Ooh. And of course, I whatever. But that was a few years later. Did they get away with it? What could each do? It was a sit down, and the right people got some of their money back. Point was made. Father and Tony were rising stars that had to be respected. Cocksuckers. <laughs> All right, kitties. That's enough for tonight. I mean, Ralphie is a great character. Gotta hate the guy, though. Make sure you rinse those plates before you put them in the dishwasher. It clogs. Yeah, seriously. I met your wife today. Are you drunk? I met your wife today. Come on, let's just get out the way. How about right here? You would, wouldn't you? Huh? Does my car look slanted? Oh, shit. Come I have on. a flat. Oh, my God. So creepy. Why? Someone stabbed it? I don't know. She did it. What? What? Oh, you know who did this, don't you? What do I want to know about your friggin' ties? Fine. Thanks for your help. Uh, what? One time, my ex-girlfriend, she, uh, you know. Wait, Irina? Well, it couldn't have been her. The what one who's cousins about? with uh, Svetlana? Dad, my car is fucked. Oh, well, you work for a dealership. What's the big fucking deal? All right, now, why would you offer to pay for them if you didn't have a guilty fucking conscience? About what? Well, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> you know what? Mm. Bullshit. I'm going uh Oh. Well, who else would do it? This is uh, a woman's superpower. Talking in circles to <laughs> confuse you. 
Tell you to spill your guts. <laughs> Where the fuck do you get off? Whoa, 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 Slashes my tires, and you have the fucking nerve to call my life into question? I slept the piss out of her last time. Oh. No, you're abusive. You. Here we go. Did you really hit her? Uh oh. I love. They're gonna get into a fight or something. He's gonna kill. I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking. Make a couple calls. I'll have two brand new Michelins here in an hour. What are these? Eighty-five. In an hour. Ah, sixteens. What? Jesus Christ. Well, she's definitely not drunk now. Seventeens. Sobered up real fast. Gene Panacorvo's got a car again. We can take it down right now. What are you fucking crazy? He's with Ralph. That's Ralph's game. That's even better. Fuck him and his wrenched dishes bullshit. What? I think he's a fucking secret fag. I don't know, Jackie. Maybe we take Carlo too. He's got a shotgun. We wear masks. We go in. Oh, one of you are dying. We're out in like two minutes. What if they find out that it's us? We want them to. Not right away, but, you know, like Ralph said, you know it's going to get squashed. My old man was Jackie Aprile. <laughs> we pull this off. We're like free agents. Mm. We dictate the terms, not them. Because we show balls. <laughs> Come on, call Carla. The psychiatrist said that I should leave my husband. Mm -hmm. May God forgive me when he said that, it seemed so right. You made a sacred vow. Divorce is out of the question. Mm. Unless he's abusive. Yeah. Not to me, but he is unfaithful. Do you love your husband? I do. And I love God. Torn. Yeah, I get it. My life is financed by crime. His crime. And now to maybe bring another child into this? God understands that we all live in the middle of tensions. What you have to do is learn to live on what the good part earns. The, the what? There's a point inside <laughs> And in a boundary beyond which you feel culpable. You've got to come to an awareness of where that line is. It's twice and someone noticed her ring. Things mm -hmm. which they without it. Learn to live on the good part. Forego those things that lay without it. I think I can do that, Father. I'll try. And O C and O B G Y N. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather you have a You'd rather be pregnant than, than have cancer. Hello. Mrs. Soprano. Gloria Trillo, Globe Motors. Oh, hi, of course. How are you? Here we go. Oh, what a nice woman. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm just some saleswoman from Globe Motors. Mm. Yeah, what are, the, what are the odds that you go to Globe Motors? She wants me to test drive the new E-Series wagon. And I'm not interested, but uh, she was awfully nice to me the other day. She gave me a ride home while they serviced the wagon. Mm. So I was just wondering if we could switch days off. This is this is now like uh, turning into fatal attraction. We could switch yeah, 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 days. Sure. I just got a customer coming in. All right, Tony. What the fuck? You can't just manhandle her like that. Fucking Tony me. Are you out of your fucking mind talking to my wife? All right. I was upset about your ex-girlfriend. All right. I poor, confused kid. I thought you should see my version. I'm sorry. All right. You drove her home. What the fuck? Then you look right into my eyes and you don't tell me. All right. It's just normal to be curious about someone that you love. Significant others. No, it's not. She's crazy. Yeah, this is this is crazy. I, I, mm. And I understand she's already into your life. Too. She knows like where you live. She's met your I'm wife. Sorry, and it'll never happen this has gone too ever. far. No shit. Now you can tell you shrink your own date relationships. More toxic shit. Crazy. Like Just a spinoff. Oh my God. Is everything all right? Apparently I've never been better. It's a little thyroid thing. Thank God. I thought I was pregnant. Mm. Oh, you're not? Bite your tongue at our age. I don't know. The kids growing up and everything. What I'd give to have a grandchild. Terry and her husband are trying again, but... Speaking of grandkids, I am just sick about Jackie and Meadow. He tells me to mind my own business. Well, so does she, in so many words. They broke up. Is Meadow okay? Oh, please. That girl is so different than I was at her age. The President of the United States, for crying out loud. I mean, look what his wife had to put up with, with the blowjobs and the stained dress. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, I can't stand that woman. 
<laughs> I'm not touching that one. <laughs> All I know is she stuck by him and put up with the bullshit. And in the end, what did she do? You hear that, Carmella? Thing. She did. You got to give her credit. I'll give her credit well, for that. true, isn't it? Mm-hmm. She's a role model for all of us. Sure. <laughs> Tony. Line two. Who is it? I don't know. It's a woman. I think she's crying. God damn it. It's Gloria, but it could be Irina. It could be any one of your little Gumars, man. It could be Carmella. Hello. Meadow. Yeah. Tony. Gloria. I can't understand you. I don't know what you're trying to say. I can't take it anymore. I don't know. I don't know why. You need to call a crisis hotline. What do you want from me? She obviously wanted him to come over, but why? She's not crying anymore. All right. You want something to drink? No. I'm sorry. There's no one else I can talk to. What about him? I have hmm. to one. He does help. I want to be with you. Well, that's not going to happen. I know. Your wife's know. in the way. <laughs> My life's a trip to nowhere. I'll sit back like a mute while you screw every woman out there. See, there's that tone again. She does realize he's not going to leave his wife. Oh, yeah, now she's... Uh, no fall or whatever. And it was great. And now it's time to put it to bed. She's going to burn down your house. When do you think that you could treat me like some stupid fucking Goomba housewife? What a Damn, you... Get off, huh? You don't have to hit her, you... Uh... You think my life's a fucking picnic? Oh, poor you. You got a fucking dream life compared to mine. Nobody cares if I'm alive or dead. You didn't have to I hit her, bro. You. I've known you my whole fucking life. That's right. Take a dump wherever you please and then just walk away. My mother was just like you. I surrender. Burn me at the stake. Uh-oh, she said burn. You're fucking crazy. All I ever asked for was kindness. Come here, come here. You listen to me and you listen to me good. You see me, you cross the street. Because you're a dangerous fuck and I don't want you in my life. Don't go, don't go! I'll call your wife! Mm. What'd you say? I'll go to Columbia. I'll tell your daughter about us. Oh, God. Oh, shit! Yep, this is it. This is it's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. He's gonna kill her by accident. He's just gonna hit her head. Oh! Now you listen to me. You go near my wife or my family, and I'll fucking kill you. You understand me? Kill me, you cucks. Kill me, you fucking bitch! Kill me. Kill me. Don't do it. Oh, that was intense. She's gonna do something even crazier. Watch. This is not over. This is fatal attraction, basically. If they had a rabbit, All right, this I'd fear it. for it right now. When we go in, you do the talk. Someone's dying. I know Eugene. I recognize my voice. When you see this motherfucker, nobody have to say a word. Dead. What's the matter? You sure you want to do this? Why? Oh, you? Yeah. Let's do it before the crank wears off. Anybody want a drink? Oh. This is not Don't good. Fucking move. Take it easy, all right? Shut the fuck up. Empty your pockets. All of you. Hey, take it easy, huh? Take it easy. Give me your watch. Remember the old adage, son? Leave him while you're looking good. Just give it to him, sunshine. Interesting. Stop fucking looking at me. Come on. Hurry up. Oh! Oh, God damn it. Damn. I did not expect this to happen. This is crazy. Where the fuck is he? 
<laughs> Run, Shit. fool! Shit, come on! Get the fuck out! Uh, what are the odds? Jackie! 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 Fuck, fuck, fuck! Hey, God, sucker. Chris, please? Bang. <laughs> Should thank God they didn't hit nothing important. This mm. fucking prick is a really doctor. Close. I'm a big doctor. <laughs> uh, get it? Doc, she's gonna remove this lady's underwear. Uh, uh. This is ladies' underwear. Little motherfucker, he's going, Tony. Are you sure it was Jackie Jr.? I find him, I'm doing him tonight. No, you're not. Why not? Because I said so. What? I don't gotta explain anything to you. He robbed us and tried to kill me. He took a shot at me. He tried to kill Furia. We're made. Well, every person you whack. You risk exposure. Bullshit, you're a fucking hypocrite. What the fuck did you say? You preach all this white guy shit, and meanwhile, the only ones who gotta play by the rules are us. Damn, he's got a point. I loved you. What happens I decide, not you? Now, you don't love me anymore, well, that breaks my heart, but it's too fucking bad, because you don't gotta love me. But you will respect me. My God. Abusive motherfucker. Oh, how you doing? Uh, it's terrible, huh? Yeah. I was going nuts over this. All right, come on. I mean, they lost what one person on on Jackie's side, Jackie Jr. What happened, Sunshine? It's a disgrace. Yeah, they straight killed him. This, this got way out of hand. I want to give the kid a pass. Mmm. Yeah. It's just me, though. I know you got bigger concerns. You're the boss. Well, I think you should go with your instincts on this, Ralph. But Furio took a hit. Chris, these are made men. Yeah, this is not good. That's why I made you captain. Oh, you're going to put it off on him to make this. Okay, okay, okay. Rosalie's kid. He wants you to kill him, but just, just not saying. They don't have kill to live him. with your commitments. Can you make it look like hey. an accident? I don't know. Your decision goes the other way. The one thing you cannot do, Ralph. You cannot do is blame yourself. You schooled him as best you could, didn't you? Jack spoiled him. What are you gonna decide, man? I feel like he is gonna kill him, but who knows? I like being wrong. She wanted me to fucking kill her. Like suicide by cop. So she set me up? From the beginning, Gloria saw me as only a fucking hammer. She loved you. She looks so you can good say that? A day in your office. Or are you just reaffirming what he said? Just another Irina with a college degree. Ask yourself, your relationship with your mother. I don't want to fuck my mother. I don't give a shit what you say. You're never going to convince me. Not fuck. Try to please her. Try to win her love. Forty fucking years old. We need to repeat what's familiar, even if it's bad for us. Gloria's need for drama. The incessant self-regard at one time. In your mother's hands, it passed for love. I right, look, you're her doctor. You tell me. Do I gotta worry about this broad? Can't say. I honestly can't predict. But I think we should deal with why are you so attracted to dangerous relationships? Why do you put your marriage in such danger? Because you're not happy. Like I'm looking for a way out. You ever think of that? Anthony, you'll never leave your wife. Bullshit. Well, there's a limit to how much she shit I... She might leave you, but you'll never leave her. Ooh, I see that. Yeah. You're not going to throw that over. Your own selfishness is too strong to let that happen. All right. <laughs> She's good. She's good. We have to stop now. Session's over or stop, stop? Oh. What's going to happen here? What's the matter? You don't like me? 
Look, I'm not back in 10 minutes. They call the cops. Standard operating procedure. Here's some standard operating procedure. Stay the fuck away from Tony Soprano. It's over. Kabish, you call or go anywhere near him or his family, and they'll be scraping your nipples off these fine leather seats. My face is the last one you'll see, not Tony's. Damn. We understand each other? It won't be cinematic. Ooh, this is good. Damn, the story's getting so good. I mean, it's always been good, but you know what I mean. She wants to get into real estate. It smells good. She wants to set up her own thing, like Hillary Clinton. Where's your ring? I had to bring it in to get it sized. It's a little big. Interesting. Hi, it's me. I'll be home in about 20 minutes. She's gonna kill him! Run him over or something. Back seat, bang. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a, an FBI sticker? What's what? No. Hold on. Wait a minute. I can't tell. I don't know. Is he a rat? Otherwise, I don't know what to think about. What did he say? What was he saying? I feel like it's obvious. Like, it's the car. There's a sticker right there. I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. You're going to have to let me know in the comments down below. I really don't know what else is to pick away from that scene. What? Am I on the right track here, guys? Is that what I think it was? Was the sticker something noteworthy? Oh, I'm gonna have to put a pin in that one. This was a really good episode also. Maybe not as, um, like, maybe not like Pine Barrens, but I feel like in this one, like, there's a lot of crazy shit that happened. In a lot of ways, it was just as good as Pine Barrens, but I feel like Pine Barrens was just, with such an isolated, small cast, you know what I mean? And, and it cast wide, you know, wide reaching consequences, but I'm just saying, there's just something special about Pine Brands, but I'm not going to get into that one. Pine Brands, yes, we all loved it. Our Murfu, this episode had a lot of twists and turns for me. Like, I did not see a lot of this coming. Like, the, like, Jackie, Jackie Jr. and his buddies trying to rob one of Ralphie's card games. And of course it was going to go wrong. Like, we knew that was going to happen. Like, everything about certain things like we've seen before, like tropish stuff. Like when you have something like that, like they're overconfident, like, should we do it? And they even had doubts before, you know? So it's like, okay, you've seen that kind of like, um, you've seen it in other shows, right? So you can kind of apply what you've seen there to this. It's like, okay, so you just know their overconfidence, the little self doubt before they're on drugs. They're just, you know, they're going to go in. They think it's going to be, you know, easy peasy. Chris was looking at them. They're getting nervous. Obviously, something was about to go down. And once bullets started flying, damn. And of course, uh, Jackie Jr.'s uh, team lost one. We shot, what's his name? Sunshine? I thought, And then they shot Furio in the leg. It, crazy stuff is happening in this episode. And that's not even like the, the top of it. We have Gloria finally meeting Carmela and just kind of that, that car ride home. When she was giving her a ride home, that was intense. I didn't know if she was just going to just, you know, just turn the car and just, I don't know. Or I don't know if she was, you know, when they shook hands, I don't know if she was like going to be like a, like a, like a pickpocket and just swipe the ring. There's just a lot of things going through my mind. Like Gloria is now been threatened. Right. But I, that's not the end of it. So I'm wondering what the connection that she got from the threat with that guy is. Is there going to be, God, how, how do I want to word this? Because if that guy is working with that guy, sorry, I can't remember his name right now, but is he's the one with the brother, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. But if he is with the FBI, I'm going with this theory, so this could totally be wrong. If he's working with the FBI and he threatens her, basically saying to stay away from Tony, or because uh, this won't be cinematic, but basically threatening her, 
right? So is that the FBI's way of having her steer clear? But then how did Tony... Did Tony put him up to this? Or is did he do this on his own? Because if, if Tony did not, and this guy did it on his own, still trying to step up, you know what I mean? You know, it, then it could trigger something in Gloria to do something even crazier. And Tony won't know it's coming because he thinks it's over. Ooh, the next episode's going to be crazy. Let me just quickly scrub through this. Like, the conversations with Melfi's always good. Um, I mean, the relationship with Gloria was also... It, it was fun while it lasted. But you knew it was going to have some horrible conclusion. And and who knows how what, what, what the conclusion is. I guess we're going to find out in the next episode. We're going to hop into very, very soon. Um, like I said, the car ride home was crazy. There's a lot of um, opportunities for growth on every side here. Carmela wants to get into real estate. Um, Ralph kind of put his his uh, his boy Jackie Jr. onto like a story that he had from the past about how his dad and Tony, you know, uh, did a robbery, but he was held back with the clap or something like that. It was a missed opportunity, and it was kind of like that kind of. Uh, ignited a flame under Jackie Jr.'s uh, ass to kind of get him to go do something. Because they're just, what, eating spaghetti and eating pizza all day? Just doing basically nothing. Um, I like Carmela's conversation with the priest, basically telling her to live on the good side of things, and then she kind of has her lunch date with the girls, of course. I kind of want to see more of them. I even kind of threw a joke in there saying, like, how about we have a spinoff game, like uh, a spinoff show called The Housewives of New Jersey. But um, I like how they kind of brought Hillary Clinton into the fold. And Carmela's like, huh, you're right. She did kind of take all the shit that her husband was was given her and did spin that into her own gold, into her own thing, into her own, basically her own brand, you know? So it's like, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. I definitely enjoy that. The, th- the, the fight between uh, Tony and Gloria was crazy. I thought that was going to be the end for her. Obviously, we have the card game. Jackie Jr.'s on the run. I don't know what's going to happen with Chris here because now he's pissed off because Tony's saying you can't kill him. I don't know what Ralphie's going to decide. I feel like there's going to be a lot of um, butting of heads here. And yeah, I, I, the, the only loose end here is this guy, right? I like when he said, here's the standard operating procedure. Stay away. So I don't know. Who was picking him up? Was I supposed to recognize the car? Oh, that is his car. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, that makes sense, obviously. But So he must have done this on his own. He must have. Because then he was just having a conversation with his wife saying, yeah, I'm on my way home. I don't know. We're just gonna hop into the next episode, guys. Like, I'm way too excited to see what happens here. Um, final bit. I love the little exchange between Tony and Carmela. Like I mentioned before, throughout the reaction, that a lot of people took notice of Carmela's ring. This over, you know, this over exaggerated, humongous ring. Like, obviously, you're made of money. And Carmela kind of humbled herself by taking it off. Tony notices she was a little embarrassed. But, you know, she kind of covered it, saying she wanted to get the size, saying it was too big. That's that's a, that's definitely a commentary on the ring itself. She finds it too big because now people are commenting, like, how can you be so sad if you have all this stuff? You know what I mean? Like, what? <laughs> like, you have everything in the world and you're complaining about shit. So it's kind of weird. So I guess that uh, that's her way of humbling herself. I don't know. But really, really good episode. I'm thinking I'm just going to end it there, but you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments down below if I was right or wrong about this guy in the in the car at the end there. Did he do this on his own? We're going to find out in the next episode, which we're going to do right now, but I think I'm just going to end it there. All right, guys, you guys enjoyed my review. Drop my action guess. I'll see this episode with me in its entirety. That should be able to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pin in the top comments. If you can't support me on Patreon, of course, support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now I'm going to go out here and I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of The Sprouts, which will be season three, episode 13, the season finale. Enough talk. Let's hop in. And uh, yeah, 
Adios. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it. And if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up. <laughs>